America's only Irish station, RadioIrish.com and the big hopeful for Ireland at the Oscars this year is the short 15-minute film The Crush, which has been nominated for the category Best Live Action Short Film at the 83rd Annual Academy Awards taking place in Hollywood, California, February the 27th, 2011. Produced by Damon Quinn, The Crush was written and is directed by Belfast-born writer and director Michael Cray, who joins us on the telephone now from Ireland. How are you, Michael? I'm, I'm grand, Sean. Very well. So tell me, Michael, how has life been since you received the great news? Oh, well, it's, been, it's just been, a, been like a, a whirlwind, like a tornado, like being caught up in a tornado. It just uh, hasn't stopped. The phone hasn't stopped ringing. Um, just feet haven't touched the ground. It's been, you know, a lot of, a lot of interviews as well. And, uh, yeah, it's just quite mental. Was it a phone call, was it? Well, well no, it, actually, um, it, it, there was no official... There was no official uh, phone call. I I, I found out um, I was just having a coffee by the seaside, uh, just to you know hide out a bit. So you know I didn't I didn't want to be sitting in front of a broadcast or in front of the internet uh, biting my nails. So I just got out of the way, and then uh, the the phone started to go, and I, it was a voicemail from a, a BBC reporter. Uh, wishing me congratulations, so I figured that, that was it, and then the, the phone started ringing more, checked the Academy website, and uh, it was official. But I got the official letter through uh, yesterday. And tell me, what did you think to yourself at first? Uh, it's strange, you just you just go a bit numb. You do, you, it, it's, just so, it's just so outside your um, experience, and so outside what you expect. In your life, that that uh, you really don't know how to process it, so you you go you go a bit numb. Um, obviously, you you know chuffed and delighted, but uh, just but quite surreal as well. Now, this isn't new to you, film, Michael. You've been making films with advertising agencies, I believe. I um I, well, I'm, I'm on the create I'm on the agency side in, in advertising. I'm a freelance art director, uh, which uh, would mean that I'd be. Uh, responsible for um, coming up with ideas, uh, doing storyboards, that kind of thing, and and then I would, you know, if it was a TV commercial, I would brief a director, a commercials director, the, to make the to make the commercial itself. I have had a couple of you know experiences behind the camera as well, just on very small things, um, you know, in house. Uh, video Christmas cards, that type of thing, and a couple of small commercials, and, you know, that was great practice. And, you know, watching watching commercials directors at work, some of them who work in film themselves, is is uh, just a great learning experience. You get to sit, you get to sit and watch them and, and learn their, learn their tricks, and so it's, it's they're, 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 they're very crossover industries, really. Now, The Crush stars your own son, Oren, who plays eight-year-old boy Ardal Travis, who falls in love with his teacher, Miss Purdy. Indeed, Ardal becomes so besotted with her that he even challenges her boyfriend to a duel and to the death. Tell me more about the origins of the story, Michael. Is it somewhat autobiographical in any way? Uh, I, get, I get asked that a lot, Sean. Um, I suppose uh, who, who hasn't had a crush on their teacher? I'm sure I had a... I think I had a bit of a crush on my um, my uh, first teacher when I was in primary school, um, but I think that's as far as the autobiographical bit goes. Um, I've never never um, challenged any boyfriends <laughs> to, to duels, but uh, yeah, yeah, so there's just a little bit of that. Obviously, there's you know, the, there there is a in the story part of the the plot twist. There is a a gun involved, whether it's a real gun or a fake gun, we we don't we don't know until towards the end. Um, I, you know, obviously I'm from Belfast, so with with lots of lots of experience of that kind of thing. So uh, you know, it all it all seeps into the subconscious. Tell me more uh, about the shoot itself, Michael. How was that? Any unusual or funny occurrences during the filming? Uh, the, no. It, 
it. The shoot was great. Actually, I was very, you know, I was very nervous the first day. It was a, it was a, you know, big thing. It was the uh, first, you know, my first real go at something like this. And we, we actually bit off a lot. We, we did a lot in that first day. And, you know, we overran a bit. And so that was, that was quite nerve-wracking. But actually, the other two days became very relaxed once we got into the swing of it. I had my brother Jim Cray, who is a BBC cameraman. He was he was the cinematographer uh, on the film, and he was just brilliant. He was able to, whenever I was losing the plot or losing my nerve a bit, he was able to just you know keep me going and you know pick up the slack and get get ready with the next shot, that uh, kind of thing. So, uh, but yeah, the, the the shoot was was a great experience. You know, it was it was always going to go either way. I was gonna it was either gonna I was going to hate it or I was going to love it and uh, you know it turned out you know I, I loved the experience Well now you're obviously very close as father and son but you're also working professionally in The Crush Michael uh, tell me how was it to direct your own son? And very uh, it was uh, very good very good it, you know it has, has a lot of advantages um, uh, you know obviously being my, my own son I can you know, you know, say what I want to him, and he and he can say what he wants back. So there was a good, and it, it also made him feel more comfortable. He was more at ease. Um, the and yeah, there was the, the, the was just, that was just very very good for the the whole dynamic of it. And you know, because I was a first timer as well, where I working with a child that I didn't know and might have found it a bit more difficult to get to, to direct to get the performances but uh, in the end it, it just worked out really well but there was always that nervousness about it because uh, you know obviously I, I don't want to put my own son in the firing line if, it, if, it's, if I don't think he's gonna, gonna work out for it you know I, that would be um, so th- there was that Bit of bit of risk involved, bit of nervousness involved, but I did a lot of tests with him. Um, there was always that consideration that you know I, I can always cast around for for kids in stage schools and like uh, that kind of thing. But um, after I'd done a few tests with him over the cam- you know just with a home video camera, and we kind of spitballed the script together. We did a wee bit wee bits of rehearsal just sitting in the bedroom. I just realised he, he had something. He had, the, you know, he had a real natural flair, and because he because he wasn't an ex, in a, he, because he wasn't an experienced actor, he had quite a deadpan quality, which actually was really really worked for it. Now, is acting something Aaron wants to continue with, and would you be happy with him doing so, Michael? Uh, well, he's he, you know he considers it. I've, I've, Said to him, you know, if he wants to do a few acting classes, he, we can set that up for him. Um, certainly not something I'm ever going to foist on him or push. Um, I leave that. I leave that very much to him. And you know, if 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 anyone comes knocking, looking for him, you know, we'll certainly consider it and see how he feels about it. Um, but uh, he's, you know, he's he he's very good at it. So uh, you know. I'm sure. He, I'm sure if he he could have a, a bright future, but he's a great artist as well. He's a good wee artist, so he, he might go down that way. Well, we could all agree now that money is tight these days, especially when you're looking for money to make a movie. But you financed the film yourself, Michael, along with some help from your dad and a bank loan, I believe. That's right. That's right. Yeah, uh, a few savings, a bit of a bit of cash from from the dad and uh, and the bank loan. Yeah, um, obviously there's still a few outstanding debts, but hopefully those will those will get paid in the in the near future. With uh, as the I mean the film will be hopefully going into distribution in the next few months and start to start to pay its own way. Hopefully. And we can't wait to support the movie, Michael, when it comes out and when it is distributed. Uh, Michael, what does it take to make a movie these days on a tight budget in Ireland? Did you receive any support from the Irish Film Board or other Irish government agency? I actually didn't approach the Film Board myself because I wouldn't have been eligible. And to, to, I think to approach any film council, you need to 
have had a, a track record, you need to have done at least one thing before. Um, so I, I wouldn't have been eligible for this particular project. Um, so I, I actually didn't didn't approach them with it. Um, and you know, I was probably, you know, it was a bit of optimism and, and ambition. I just thought, look, I want to get it done. Want to get it? I want to get. I'm not getting any younger. I want to. If I'm going to do this, I have to strike now. Um, I'll try and do it as cheaply as I can and pull, you know, pull the funds together from where I can. Um, so that's how I just. Uh, so I just. I just went ahead and and did it. It's not the ideal. It's absolutely not the ideal way to to do it. Certainly, but um, but uh, it's, it's worked out okay. And how important to you is winning the Oscar, Michael? The, the winning actually hasn't, you know, hasn't even crossed my mind. I mean, that, that would, it would be, it would be unbelievable. It would, that would, it would be amazing. But actually, uh, the nomination feels like an end in itself. It's, uh, you know, the, I always think about any time I've watched the Oscars and see. Uh, celebrities, actors, um, when they do, when they don't win and they say, oh, we're just glad to be nominated, and you think, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's actually true. It's the, the feeling of just being in nominated is, is incredible. Um, so the, to, to actually win it is almost, is almost unthinkable, but it's, you know, it would be amazing. Well, we certainly do wish you the very best of luck at the Oscars, Michael. So tell me, what's next for you now? Any new film projects in mind already? Oh, yeah, yeah. I have um, a couple of couple, couple of projects in mind. Uh, actually, the, the, the film board themselves are, are looking at a couple of things for me. And I have a, I have a, a feature script, which is a, a love story set in, in the Irish famine. It's a, a, you know, a period of time... I was, uh, you know, that I always wondered why it was missing from the cinema. You know, every everything else in world history, every catastrophe seems to have been covered on the silver screen, but uh, never, never the Irish famine. Um, so it's it's something that's it's been a bit of a baby of mine for quite a few years now, and I have a, a full length script for that. And you know, a couple of other ideas rattling around of a treatment for uh, a story set in the set in Belfast during the Blitz. Um, and yeah, so there's a, a few things that I'm going to be, you know, trucking on with. Well, congratulations on the nomination for an Oscar, Michael, and all our Radio Irish listeners are certainly rooting for you as you head off to Hollywood with your son Aaron and the Oscars. Thanks very much, Michael. Thanks a million, Sean. Thanks very much. Belfast-born writer and director Michael Cray there, who lives in Scarries in North Dublin now, and his 15-minute short film The Crush has been nominated for the category Best Live Action Short Film at the 83rd Annual Academy Awards taking place in Hollywood, California, February the 27th, 2011, and we're very excited about that as it represents Ireland at the Oscars. There's always one, and they always do well I'm not going to say anything now because keep it under the hat and for more information on the crush visit www.indiegogo.com forward slash the hyphen crush or the official Academy Awards website www.oscars.org America's only Irish station radioirish.com keep that hunch under the hat huh <laughs> Radio Irish. Hi, this is Michael Cray, writer and director of The Crush. You're listening to Radio Irish, and so am I. Ain't nothing like a love song. Out to Long Montego Bay, you walk that strand with me. Then took your dagger to my heart And flung it out to sea Sympathies in me. Ain't nothing like a love song. Ain't nothing like a love song. Ain't nothing like a love song. 
ain't nothing like a teardrop in a hurry Well, she never came back to me And I say that I don't care Cause the blood runs through my head Play me hurt by Johnny Cash For it sounds the way I feel And love ain't something you can't stash And it's nothing you can't steal Ain't nothing like a teardrop in a heart